when did bed bugs make a comeback in the USA? Although bed bugs may seem to have been a pest of years gone past, they're now making a comeback across the United States. Recently, pest management professionals throughout the United States have reported a nationwide increase in calls for the control of bed bugs. February 1, 2000. Although bed bugs may seem to have been a pest of years gone past, they're now making a comeback across the United States. Recently, pest management professionals throughout the United States have reported, February 1, 2000, a nationwide increase in calls for the control of bed bugs. In Tacoma, Washington, Jeff Ware, technical director with Sprague Pest Solutions, said, We've experienced more bed bug problems in the past year than we have in the past 20 years. Dr. Jerome Goddard of Mississippi State University said, Bed bug problems seem to be coming back in a big way. If they can occur in top of the line hotels, they can occur anywhere. They are brought into hotels with suitcases. In addition, hotels buy furniture from other hotels that are going out of business. These statements may come as a surprise to some veteran PCOs. In the decades prior to the use of DDT, bed bug control was an important part of a pest management professional's business. In the 1950s and 60s, the widespread use of DDT by the industry and by the public, virtually wiped out the bed bug population in the United States. Some resistant strains survived for a while, but the use of malathion finished them off. Or so we thought. Virtually every home in the United States had infestations of this bloodsucker at one time or another. The incidence of bed bugs was highest in poorer and more crowded neighborhoods. But the middle class and wealthy households were not spared the embarrassment of having bed bugs in their homes. Bed bugs were picked up in movie theaters and other public places. Schools were notorious for spreading bed bug and head lice cultures, mostly in cloakrooms and lockers. Some PCOs and researchers claim the infestations come from stored mattresses, garage sale goods, youth hostels, and some upper class hotels. In Arnold Molly's Handbook of Pest Control, Dr. Robert Snetzinger writes of a researcher who observed a female bed bug live 560 days without food. Given their longevity in today's mobile society, it is no wonder bed bugs are making a comeback. That's all.